All right, this is a 2010 Vera Cruz, and shop says it has a check engine light, possible throttle body codes, update possibly, not too sure. And there's a noise, sounds like a rod knock or possibly a piston slap. Goes away on deceleration, and it's probably a rod, but it sounds like a piston. Uh, we're gonna plug in the Hyundai VCI2, get started with GDS. Alright, so we're connected here. Uh, my internet and my hotspot was fine. Let's go to, I don't know, we'll go to fault code searching. Uh, let's go let's pick the trans too, why not, right? There's our VIN number, automatically identified it. Mosquitoes are biting me. No current DTC. Okay. History, current, history. Okay, here's our history codes, limp home, ECM tour calculation, performance, limp home mode, power management, mm -hmm. and let's take a snapshot, let's save these codes. Go back home. All right, so the service information on this tablet is kind of lagging behind right now. Um, my hotspot is pretty, pretty weak in the area that I'm at. But as you can see, these three fault codes, there is a TSB concerning these. Uh, for these three codes, they fit exact. And the solution, at least for step one, is to update the PCM. Now this vehicle is not acting up right now and it's up to the shop if they want to go ahead and just perform the update and go from there. Alright guys, really fast we're going to get through this here. So I'm in SW management right now. I'm looking at the calibration inside the PCM and calibration ID EN938S28JNB. Go on to our TSB. We can see the one right Where my cursor is and I'm trying to highlight it for you. Anyway, this is our this is the old calibration. To the right is going to be the new one. Okay, mobilizer without ten model year, ECM part number. That should be the part number on the ECM. Three uh, C. Yeah, we don't have that part number in the SW management, but we're going to go to the auto update and update it. Okay, we got 13.4 volts. That's 13.7, but I have these jumper cables I had to put on. So I don't want to take the risk of the other cables popping off. Very good. I'm going to turn our headlights off. Uh, what other loads can we turn off here? That's off. The thrusters are off. Um, okay, so we're at the home page in GDS, we're going to go to ECU upgrade. Okay.
click on PCM. All right, guys. So the GDS VCI2 won't be able to update this. It's just a little bit too new. I need the VCI1. Pretty bummed out about that. But I open up the Hyundai J2534 application. I don't like using this too much. But hopefully we'll give it a shot here. The shop told me to go ahead and try it. Alright. Hit the OK button. Pastor is connected. Select our device, Kardec M. The OK button. So that looks like the ID we were looking at before, S2, yeah that looks to be correct, updatable, good, beautiful, select the update, okay. Current, new, I'm gonna hit the OK. Some vehicles need additional power supply, that's the older vehicles, around 2001 or so, give or take. We're gonna hit the OK button here. Alright, man, cross your fingers, right? I've only used this uh, J J2534 application on Honda a handful of times. A lot of people say it's unreliable, I guess it could be, so I don't typically use it. Uh, if, those, if this does fail, the remedy is usually going into manual mode with the factory scan tool. Uh, most of the time you can do that from what I've heard, it's not like you're going to break the module afterwards, but you just never know really. Alright, we're back, we're back, it's uh, 90%. Locks just cycled. Come on. Turn ignition off, wait 20 seconds, turn on, hit OK. We're going to turn the ignition off. I'm going to wait 20 seconds.
turn ignition on. And then we're going to hit the OK button. Completed. Big sigh of relief, huh? No tow truck needed today, right? Okay. Alright. And there we go, guys. I'm gonna go back in here, clear the codes. Success, there's the message. That's what you want to see. And uh, we'll give this one back to the shop. And that's it.